Good morning, guys. I am Patty Elhoff, the author of Upcycle with Decoupage. Uh, Upcycle with Decoupage is also on Facebook, and my website is upcyclewithdecoupage.vpweb.com if you're looking for some of the supplies we'll be using today. And here's a picture of our Valentine's Day project that we'll be working on today. I used some acrylic paint to paint this paper mache heart, only on the front, not the back. And this works on the cardboard box paper mache hearts just as well. I then took a smaller heart and just traced around the outside of it in the center of our larger heart. And I took my drill and I made holes approximately half an inch apart. I did this around the whole heart. Then when I was done, just wiped away all of that excess. I guess that's paper. And then I just went around with the eraser to make sure there were no pencil lines left. Then I separated my napkin so that I just had that top ply, discarded the other two sheets, and I'm using a wet paintbrush right here because I want to remove just these, the center part of this. I'm using two napkins today, two different patterns and I could not find this particular napkin to put up on my website. I did however find a very pretty napkin that would be perfect to use as your centerpiece. It is the Eiffel Tower with some French script in back of it. The idea was I wanted to make it romantic, I wanted to make it French, and I'm going to be placing flowers. So I just put decoupage glue down right here, and then I put the French script part of my napkin down, and I'm using some plastic wrap here. You just pull that tight and press it over the napkin. And I'm going to repeat those same steps with my second napkin, which is the floral part of this. I'm just finishing up the rest of the heart. You do want to be careful when you apply new pieces because you're going to be putting decoupage glue over probably some parts of the napkin that's already down. You just want to make sure, like right here, that that's pretty dry so that you don't pull any of your other napkin up. And you can use the fine artist's brush right there to pull away any excess that you don't like. And we'll just put this aside to dry for now. Now that it's dry, I just took one of these tacks and I went all around these little holes to make sure I got rid of the napkin and the glue that got in there. I put a flashlight underneath it because in some areas it was really hard to see where those little holes were and I wanted to make sure those were cleared out. I also wanted to take a heavy grit nail file and go around the edges and just file away all of this excess. And now that this heart is completely dry, I'm going to take my decoupage glue and do one coat, I'll give it one coating over the whole surface and put it aside to dry. And while this was wet, I just went back around the heart and pierced all of those holes so they didn't dry solid. 
So if you've been watching my videos lately, you'll know that I got a few new punches and they're fun. So I'm taking this number four coffee filter. I wet it, put decoupage glue over it, and I'm actually decoupaging some napkins onto the front. You can also do the back. I'm leaving this one blank. Now that these coffee filters are dry, I'm going to use two different punches. This is a larger butterfly and I have these on my website. They're much, much nicer punches than I've been able to find in the craft store. This particular punch actually has three different patterns that you can use. I'm using the laciest one because I'm putting it on top. See those three different settings? And I'm using the laciest one because I am going to put that over top of my larger butterfly. And I'd like to add a little glitter to these. This is some glitter glue that Martha Stewart makes. It doesn't have glitter in it. It is glue just for glitter. You could probably use any white glue here. I just wanted to make sure it was acid free. So I'm putting it on both parts of the butterfly and I'm even going to put it on the back. I really want to smother these pieces in a very soft pink glitter. When you decoupage the napkins onto the coffee filters, it makes them nice and firm because you wouldn't be able to, I don't think you would be able to make the butterflies with the napkins unless you were using these coffee filters. So I'm really excited about my punches and the butterflies. I made a few of the butterflies, but for now, I'm going back to the dried piece while those are drying. And I'm going to add some embellishments in little places on the heart. And when the butterflies are dry, you can use a bamboo skewer to give them a little bit more of a realistic shape. I just bent them around this and that's the one on top. Now I'm going to glue the tiny one into the center of the larger one to give it a dimensional look. And then I'm going to put a little hot glue along the sides here to keep those wings up a little bit. Then I'm taking the smaller butterflies and I'm going to hot glue those in a diagonal pattern like they're flying up along the side of the heart. And again, I'm just adding a little dab of glue underneath each wing just to keep them propped up a little bit. Now I'm taking a matching ribbon and I'm going to tie it to the top of this heart. I'm going to hot glue it a little bit and I'm just going to cheat a little bit and make a ribbon for the bottom. I'm using hot glue, pinching it there in the center, and then I'll add a little tail on the end of that. I then hot glued this piece to the bottom and I know it looks really messy so I just took an embellishment that I had and put it there. I then placed the heart face down and if you'll notice there are two books on each side of it to protect the front and I crudely taped these lights into the back so it looks like Frankenstein. <laughs> And here is how it looks with the lights off and it's kind of backlit. It's hard to see the heart shape and you may want to skip that step. I still kind of like the way it looks with a little bit of light coming through. And that is our project for this week. By the way, I hung a little white key on the bottom there. You'll see that in a moment, along with the ribbon that I cut into a special shape. In the meantime, thank you so much for subscribing. If you've got any questions, I'm all too happy to help you guys out. 
Upcycle with Decoupage is on Facebook. If you want to go over and like the page and follow it, you'll get notifications every week before uh, YouTube even posts it that I have a new video out. Happy Valentine's Day. I will see you guys next week with another video. Thanks again. Bye-bye.